Good afternoon. Sunday, October 16th, uh, 2015. This is part two of heating problems with a PT Cruiser. Yesterday we had part one where we showed you that one, they were not using the bleeder valve when they were uh, going ahead and try and get a good look at it here. The bleeder valve when they were filling the radiator full of antifreeze. Now our radiator is full of antifreeze. <laughs> Completely full. There's no air bubbles in the aluminum block. And our reservoir is filled properly for our engine. A warm engine. Now, where we had our problem before, I don't have enough light to show it, but it was on the cable wires themselves. Uh, I'm not going to get a picture of it. That's part of it going through underneath the fan. But the cable wires themselves had pigtails that were bad. They were in part one. I had to go through not one, not two, but every single PT Cruiser on the U-Pull-and-Pay lot in Cincinnati, Ohio to find one male and one female pigtail connector that were still intact. Every single one of them had been removed. As far as I can tell by the wiring, by how cooked the wiring art was, every one of them cooked in the middle. Now mind you, this is a two-speed motor. So it jumps from speed one to speed two on a regular basis. Now as it jumps from speed one to speed two, more amperage is needed every time. Uh, as the amperage changes, it changes the load on the center wire, a ground wire. Well, duh, that isn't hard to fix. We went ahead and we used a scotch tab directly on the fan, put the scotch tab on the fan, blew lead to the small lower speed motor, and ran a direct ground from that side to the frame, and then we ran a direct hot wire straight up and into the fuse box where we can buy it any advanced, any Napa, any single store that sells auto parts a at a circuit. In other words, instead of holding two, uh, one fuse, this now holds two fuses. It's a fusible link and it's hitting that yellow wire because I just plain didn't have any red and it goes down to the scotch tab that we are using to power that motor. So now, instead of having an overheating problem, the second I turn my key on, hopefully you'll be able to hear this, This has been another installment of Bob the Pundit for the do-it-yourselfer, homeowner, handyman, and backyard mechanic. Answering those questions 